Hello, I am Mike of Neil of Dice, and this is the Kerbal Space Program. Intrepid Kerbal Nought, Bob, um, is. Oh, no, he hasn't actually done it yet. He is on a mission to take um, all the 83 experiments from Mun Hopper 1. Mun Hopper 3, sorry. Bob now has got um, all 83 experiments about his person. Not quite sure how he fits them all on, but never mind. And he is going to take them um, over here. Boy. If he can get off the ladder. There we go. And given that Bob is a three-star scientist, this means that uh, we should be able to get quite a lot of science. We can basically what you do is you convert the science experiments into data, and then the data gets transformed into science. So you get extra science from your scientific experiments. Uh, I particularly want um, to get to about 2,700, 2,800 science because then I can activate um, one of the, one of the, um, I can't remember what they're called. But you can do it in the admin building. Um, various things that can convert money into science, science into money, reputation into money, reputation into science, that kind of thing. Um, I haven't been running any of those. Because uh, I never quite work out what's the best. But I have currently maxed out the entire tech tree. So um, extra science is actually not of any direct use to me. Um, I'm going to have to send Stelilio over, just remembered something, I'm going to send Stelilio over at some point. Because uh, I want to set up a refueling thing between this ship and this ship. But that can wait, that can wait. Science first. So, uh, with a really ro low frame rate that I'm getting at the minute, because uh, my poor computer is having difficulties. <laughs> Uh, I've got three, well, four if you count that. So I've got four craft all within a very small distance of one another. Because that, uh, that thing up there, you may or may not remember from a long, 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 long time ago. Um, that is effectively a sky crane. Now here's a question I'm not entirely sure. Uh, where I want to get in. There's a docking port down there, but I don't know if I can get... I don't know if that gets me access to... the craft itself. Um, failing that, there's, so, so there's the science lab here, which is this bit. And it will have a... Um, a hatch. But I don't... Oh, there we go. I can certainly get to the crew hatch, but whether or not I can get to it enough that I'll be able to grab onto it and thus um, get inside, I don't know. So we're going to turn on our RCS. The other option is to fly up onto the top, actually. Maybe easier. Right, that's not working. He's bumping his head. And despite the fact that we have demonstrated that these helmets will, in fact, protect you from, um, you know, you can literally fall from orbit onto that, onto your helmet. We've established this. Um, 
but uh, yeah, bumping his head, you know, to make sure we've got clearance. Oh, don't smash into him. Yeah, it's one of the bits where I didn't really think this through. Right, so we have boarded. And now he, where are we? He is now a scientist on board here. What I think I need to do is I need to, yeah, this is what I do, is I review the data. Um, and there's only so much, you can, you can only carry so much data. All right, so here, okay, right, so let's go to the engineer for a second. Um, so it's, pro, it's, it's turning, preparing research data on surface sample from the moon's far side crater. So it's turning that into um, data. So it's taking <laughs> say experiment, turning that into data, and then the data can be turned back into science, uh, is how it goes. So it's taking um, a certain amount of time Yeah, activate the navigation. Just getting rid of that little display there. Um, okay, let's speed up a little bit. So, when that's done, um which is taking so sweet time <laughs> is time warping even affecting this i don't know if it is it doesn't seem to be actually seems to take the same amount of time regardless yeah that's really weird oh well it's nearly done Okay. Not of data storage to what? What do you mean not of data storage? Not of data storage to research surface sample from Mun surface crater. Got 165 data in there. Um They don't have data storage, but I don't know. That's really weird. Oh, is it saying it's not update? Oh, there's not update storage for that experiment. Okay, there we go. Now, so th this gives me a couple of things. Um, normal um, crew cabins, like uh, the crew cabin on the Munhop 3, they can only store one um, what am I trying to say? They can only store one version of each experiment. So if I do a surface sample um, it can only um, I can only have one surface sample. Now, one of the interesting things about um, these experiments is that you generally have to do more than one in order to get all the science out of a biome. So you, you have to take maybe two or three surface samples, two or three atmospheric readings and so forth. Um, and if you've just got a moon hopper like I did, and still do, uh, it can only store one of those at a time. 
but this can store many of them so I can I can send uh, the mun hopper off to get different bits of science and store them here for when I want to eventually recover all that science. Plus, I can turn it into data. Um, how, am I, how am I doing? 275 out of 86. Plus, I can turn it into data um, and then turn that into science that gets um, sent back. So, every so often, at the moment, I'm getting 2.4 science a day, which is pretty good, actually. Uh, so in a few hundred days, that's another extra 500 science that I've just I've just got an extra 500 science, um, and I've got all these 80 odd experiments which I can uh, turn into data, and so uh, eventually I should be able to get quite a lot of science out of all this this particular procedure. Now, meanwhile, I'm just going to let that keep on going. Uh, here we are. So, Stelelia is going to EVA as well. Begin to think I actually want to set up a, a, a few things here. Um... I actually think I want I might I may want to send um, like a series of parts because there are bits you can screw into the ground which you can then attach other things to uh, one of the issues is that um, in order to refuel uh, the Mun Rover which doesn't have its own mines like the Mun Hopper does one of the things that I would have to do is get it close enough to uh, the mining station that it can uh, connect via those pipelines. Um, and I don't know that it's going to be easy to, to land things that close. But what I could do is I could get one of those ground things, one of those one of those things that you can you can screw onto the ground. Connect the pipeline from that to the station, and then now my craft only has to get close enough to that ground bit. Uh, right, so we're going to. Oh, come on. Up we go. Oh, I keep forgetting. She's got a really heavy thing, so she actually finds it difficult to. Because she's carrying, she got because her inventory has got, um, she's already got that thing in there, which uh, weighs zero point eight tons. So it's only that's eighty kilos, which is, a, you know, I think that's basically an extra whole extra kerbal. Kerbals are only a um, hundred kilos themselves. Let's not slam into the the mother over, shall we? So what I want to do, I'm just going to be adding that onto there. I'm going to see if I can connect those two. It is going to depend on how close they are. And we're now going to slow down. Slow down. There we go. I'm going to do that. Whoop. Now where's the connector port on this one? So I can always move the connector port on this one. Right. So let's equip that. Let's grab that.
Well, that's weird. <laughs> I think I'm too far away. Now I don't know that I'm now going to test to see how close or more accurately how far I can get and do a link. Um, I think this might not work because there's a um, the connector I think is over this side. So it's actually on the on the wrong side of the Mun Rover. Okay, I can still get quite a distance. What does it do? Don't know if it'll let me do this. Oh, I think. Oh! Wow! Alright, there you go. You can get quite far with those. So, what I might want to do um, is you know send some bits over so if you can imagine instead of having a mon, mon rover there it's got a ground plug there and they're connecting from there to that plug and then i can then i've got a quite a wide radius that i'd be able to land craft and get refueling that is pretty sweet nice so um i've started Getting science, um, oh, I'm getting three science a day now, look at that. Uh, I'm just going to keep going and go through until it gives me something that I can change into data. How much, how much have I got left? I've got loads left. So I'm going to be just changing things over into data, I'm going to be, you know, getting lots of science. Maybe think about getting another scientist on here. We'll see what I can do. Um, and start converting everything into lots and lots and lots of lovely, lovely science to send back home. And then that science will, in fact, be converted. And soon, hopefully, anyway, that science will be converted into money. I've also discovered that you can actually make those um, fueling links quite long. So I can actually make this little bit, this little area, into a pretty serious little base. So there you go. Well, thanks very much for watching. Do hit like and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. Come visit Neil Love Dice at NeilLoveDice.com or us on Facebook and Twitter. Find us there. And until next time, reach for the stars.